Ever since I came to MIT, I always wanted to learn how to play piano. But with all the homeworks and tests, I quickly realized I wouldn't even have time to think about touching a piano. Now, last year came along, it was my senior year, I was going to be done, and I was pretty disappointed at myself for not being able to at least play something on the piano. So I put the books away, I stopped studying, and I finally decided to do something about it. I worked really hard and I recorded this video. River flows in you by Yoruma, but if you're a piano player or you're watching closely, you may have noticed that there was something a little bit wrong with the video. So let me play that same video again, but without any special effects this time. <laughs> Alright, right, that's enough. Uh, so I actually still couldn't play piano, but I used technology to make it appear that I was better than I actually was. And this may sound weird, but we do this all the time. Think of Photoshop or Autotune, for example. These three things are basically the same. But at the end of the day, you still can't play piano, you still don't look good, and you still can't sing. Uh, <laughs> now, I can't help you with the last two, but for the first one, I have AR Piano. AR Piano is an augmented reality keyboard designed for efficient and fun music learning. So before I get into more details of AR Piano, let me talk about the problems with music learning right now. When you first start to learn music, you see this thing, which is called sheet music. Now, the main goals of sheet music are, or at least should be, to, zeal, to tell you which notes to play, or which buttons to press in the piano example, which notes to play, for how long to play them, and when to play them. Now, intuitively as a beginner, if I look at this, I have absolutely no idea what that means. Uh, intuitively, this gives me no information. What if instead I showed you something like this? Uh, this is something known as a piano roll, where each note is represented by a square that goes towards the button that you need to press. This tells you what, what you need to know. Uh, take length, for example. You need to know how long to hold each note for when you're playing. But if you're just getting started, you get presented with these symbols that intuitively, honestly, don't mean anything to me. Which one of these is longer than the other? I'm not sure, unless I look it up and I manually make that translation every time. Instead, what if I showed you the length of the note represented by the length of a bar? That's a much easier way to show you what you're supposed to be doing. So, if this piano model is so much better and intuitive, why didn't we use it in the first place? The problem is that sheet music was designed with the limitations of the medium in which it would be shown. In this case, the medium is paper, and the limitations are space and staticness, since you can't update a piece of paper once it's printed. And that leads me straight into AR Piano, because AR removes these limitations, allowing me to play anything anywhere, which lets me rethink the way we approach music learning. AR Piano takes that same piano roll that you saw before and places it right in your keyboard so you know exactly what key to press, at what time, and for how long, even if you've never read music, sheet music before. Uh, this is a rendition of 4 Ellis in this GIF, and this is a pretty complicated one. But I can show you over here, I'm using it to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. As you see, I get feedback when I'm playing, and if I mess up, the notes will turn red. Uh, now I can keep playing the rest of the song. And what's cool is that I'm actually collecting statistics about your performance. So when you finish this song, you get presented with a graph that shows you the mistakes that you make, made over time. So you remember that spot in the middle where I messed up? That's represented by that red area in the graph. I can also see the mistakes I made per key if I maybe my left hand is slacking and my right hand's better. Uh, these graphs are also interactive, so if I want to go back and practice that spot where I messed up, I can click that key. <laughs> And it'll scroll me back to that part of the song where I messed up so I can get straight into practicing where I need most help. As you're practicing, you can also adjust several parameters through an augmented multifunction nub. These parameters are the position of the song, so you can scroll back and practice something again, or the speed if you want to slow it down to really get a tricky section, or if for some reason you want to speed it up and challenge yourself. You can do that too. So this, help, this is helpful with music learning and just being able to play a song without really much practice. But I wanted to take it one step further and battery slow. Um, I wanted to take it one step further and let you understand music a little better. Now, one way I could think of that was pretty easy was to just put the notes on the keyboard as you're playing them, so at least you know what an F is and what a C is, in order to have a better understanding of the music. But another thing that I wanted to do is I wanted you to be more aware of musical concepts as you were playing it. Now, I don't have a music theory background myself, but I knew enough to know that chords are a thing. Uh, but I never knew when 
I was presented with a chord in music, I didn't know that's what I was actually playing. Because in music, when you play something, you get really good auditory feedback. So if I play a chord, it'll sound good to me. It, the notes harmonize and it sounds good. But the visual feedback that I get is pretty weak. I just see myself pressing three buttons and I have no idea if those three buttons are right. Pressing those three buttons doesn't necessarily scream, you're playing A minor. But with AR, I can make it do that. So here when I play an A minor chord, it'll actually tell me, hey, you're playing an A minor chord. And I'll be more aware of what I'm playing and hopefully make that connection between the notes and the chords a little better. I can also suggest which chords to play by highlighting keys that form part of a chord. Now lastly, I wanted to visualize the music that you're playing or the music that someone else is playing in a cool and intuitive way. So first, I took that piano roll from the initial example. So when you play a note, it'll generate a little square that travels up. But I also added some color to the squares, and the colors is actually significant. I took this thing, which is known as a circle of fifths in music theory. Now, this is used in music theory to show the relationship between notes, and it's pretty helpful in composing harmonies, for example. So I took the circle, slapped the color wheel on top of it, and assigned colors to each note based on where it lands on the color wheel. Now, this leads for some really interesting patterns, both in the notes that you're doing, so the rhythmic patterns, as well as the different notes and their relationships, which is the tonal patterns. So here's someone that actually knows how to play piano. And you can see the colors show a pretty interesting side of the song that you don't usually get to see. So this gloomy part might be a little bit more purple, whereas the happier parts will be more blue and greenish. Like that part's more purple and it sounds more mysterious. And in general, the patterns are a neat way to experience music that I hadn't seen before. Now, I wanted to finish off by showing you uh, one last video of me trying to play a song this time. So, what I find remarkable... So, this is the first song that I faked playing in the first time. But this time, those were actually my fingers pressing the correct combination of buttons to make that melody. And yes, it wasn't perfect, but I was able to get this on one of my first tries, uh, which I think is pretty cool. In this case, instead of using technology to make myself appear to be better, I used it to learn and actually become better. Thank you.